Hey y'all, today's video is full of deep cleaning motivation, a grocery haul, and some outdoor prep for summer. I needed to tackle our messy backyard on top of everything else, so if you're needing someone to keep you company today while you get it all done, I am here with you. Let's tackle our to-do list together. Let me know something that you're working on down in the comments below, and I hope y'all are all having a great day. Even if you just have to tackle one small task, I would love to hear what you're working on, but let's go ahead and get this started. Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Okay, so unfortunately, before I could start anything that I actually needed to get done, I had so much laundry to tackle. I had like three or four loads that were on the couch ready to be folded and put away because I had been neglecting it for a couple days. And then I also had a load in the washer and a load in the dryer. So, so much laundry to do. But then once we got all of this tackled, I was pretty much caught up other than we had a hamper in our master bathroom that needed to be washed. But anyways, we were mostly caught up after this. I wasn't gonna film this. I was actually gonna tackle this and then start filming because a lot of people just don't like laundry motivation, but I will say I love watching people fold laundry. I love watching people load the washer and take stuff out of the dryer. It like really motivates me to get my own laundry done because that's one of the things that I really hate doing. So it always motivates me. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna film it anyways. And if you don't like this, you can skip through it. But I love laundry motivation. I'm actually starting to like doing laundry now that we've decluttered everything. We used to have so much stuff that it couldn't even fit in our drawers when I was done folding. And so I had no motivation because once I got done folding, I had nowhere to put it. But now that we've decluttered everything, I have a place for everything. So it's fun to kind of like fold, put everything away. I was a little bit behind, but once we got it all done on this day, it felt so good. And then I could start tackling everything in the living room. I needed to steam clean our rug. It was so bad. And y'all know I said in my last video that I really want to get a new rug for our living room. And I'm in the process of trying to find one, but I haven't found one yet. But I'm going to steam clean this one because I'm going to give this to my sister for her work office. And I wanted it to be not so gross. It's gotten kind of dingy over the last year. But I'm going to be replacing that pretty soon. If you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. I'm trying to decide what we need in here. I don't want to do a shag rug because they get dingy so fast for high traffic areas. So I'm kind of looking for something that's a little bit more sturdy for a high traffic area. And we got rid of our coffee table because Oliver kept climbing on it. So I kind of wanted something else here in the middle. But let me know your thoughts down below. I'm going to get all of this laundry put away. I had some stuff to hang up. And then I also had all of these socks down in the bottom of the laundry hamper that needed to be matched. And then I also had that little basket that I keep in our laundry room full of unmatched socks. So I just mixed them all together and went through all of the socks at once. I'm trying to keep up with this on like a monthly basis now because... Y'all know in my big decluttering series back in the spring, I decided that these socks were no longer going to be a problem for us. We're just going to go through them every once in a while and make sure that we have a match for everything. And if we don't, we are going to throw them away because it's not worth it. And we found so many matches, put those away. And then once we got all of this laundry done, we're going to hang up the rest of the laundry that needed to be hung up. And we're going to move on to the deep cleaning in the living room. I needed to wipe down our TV stand. I needed to wipe down our end tables. Dust everything, wipe everything down, and then get to this rug in here. There's another side of you trying to break through. Able to tell the truth. No one else can see you like I do. Oliver has recently learned to open and shut these cabinets and so his little fingerprints are all over them. I decided to take my spray away and wipe them all down 
and as you can see in that clip my feet were filthy and with these tile floors and walking around barefoot all the time I think that's why this like shag rug is so <laughs> gross um, so with our next carpet I'm gonna have to learn to wear socks on it or maybe get a color that's a little bit more forgiving but anyways I think that's why this carpet is so gross with tile floors they just get so dirty no matter how much you sweep or mop I feel like you're always just it's just filthy but anyways we're moving on we wiped down the end table we're moving into the entryway we're just getting everything wiped down I'm gonna wipe down the piano and then we're gonna go in and do the floors and Really, what I would love is to have some wood floors that I could just swiffer every day because I feel like those stay a little bit more clean. But for some reason, tile hides dirt so well. Even after you sweep and mop, it's just still there. And so you can't walk around barefoot unless you want your feet dirty. It's kind of like walking around in a garage, I feel like. Your feet are just always going to be dirty no matter what. But anyways, we're going to get everything wiped down. We're going to get these floors cleaned up. We're going to get the carpet cleaned. And the transformation on our living room rug is actually incredible. So stay tuned. It was so gross. I decided to wipe down this exercise bike real quick because it was so dusty and then after that we're going to move on to the floors and I'm going to be using the same carpet cleaning solution that I've shared with y'all before. It's just fabric softener, hydrogen peroxide, OxyClean, and Dawn dish soap and I'll leave all of the measurements down in the description box below but this works so well at getting out all of the stains. It leaves your rug looking brand new. I've used it on so many things other than just our rugs in our house and it works so good and it smells so good just like laundry. So I love this little solution. We're going to get this rug all cleaned up but first we had to get everything vacuumed I pulled out the love seat there was lots of stuff to get cleaned up behind that I also pulled out our couch and I'm going to clean up these window seals while I'm at it I have really had the itch lately to rearrange our living room and if you've been watching me for a while you know that I've had this itch before and I've actually tried different things and I cannot figure out how to make it look right with it not being set up like this because it's such an odd shape but I'm going to be experimenting, uh, maybe not on my channel, but I'm going to try to figure something out and I'm going to switch up this living room pretty soon because not only do I need a change, but I just feel like it needs some spice in here. We need some color. We need some stuff in here. It's just kind of lame. But anyways, we're going to get this rug cleaned up and that is going to be one thing checked off our to-do list. So why you keep playing, boy? Walking around like you're some kind of star, yeah. You're talking sweet, pulling strings, but I know there's always something up your sleeve. So I will listen to a word you speak. So for the living room, what I'm kind of thinking is doing some built-ins on that wall where the TV stand is, or maybe even just moving that TV stand to the other side of the room to make the furniture work around it. I haven't quite figured that out yet. But I'm hoping to have that figured out before Christmas so that we can have a new space to put our Christmas tree this year. But the amount of dirt that this steam cleaner pulled out of this rug was crazy. I was so glad to have that done. I'm so excited to get a new rug in here. But I cannot believe how much better this rug looked when we were all done with this process. And you're going to see here in just a second, we're going to dump it in the toilet. But the water that came out, yeah, black. It was so gross. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And then we're going to move on. I actually picked up a grocery order. So I'm going to kind of share with y'all what I picked up for the week. Don't you come crawling back because you know we're through. Oh, yeah. Because you only cloud my eyes. So that I can see the sky. You're going to be Okay, 
just got home from Walmart. I made myself an iced coffee real quick because I am needing the energy today. But for this week, I just picked up four dinner ideas and they're kind of like quick, easy, simple stuff for the weekend because it's actually already Wednesday. And for the next four or five days, Will and I are on a crazy schedule and we're not always gonna be home at the same time for dinner. So I got stuff for sandwiches with chips and then I also got stuff for grilled chicken and baked potato and corn on the cob. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend, so we're probably gonna go do something with family, but one of the days this weekend we'll just meet Oliver and Will, we'll probably grill out. So, um, got some grilled chicken, and then one night we'll do bean casserole. Y'all know that's one of our favorites. And then I also got stuff for my favorite salad with the strawberries and the goat cheese and the pecans and stuff like that. So, I'm gonna show what I picked up. I got a ton of snacks for Oliver because I am tired of digging <laughs> to find him something to eat. So, I'll start with that. I started out in the little snack area and I got him some applesauce pouches. He loves these and he hasn't had them in a while, so I picked those up. He has been loving these at my mom's house, so I picked him some more of those up, the strawberry smoothie yogurt things. And at first I was skeptical. I was like, how's he gonna get that out? But he just drank it right up. He loved them. So got that. Also got some more popcorn. We've been going through that like crazy. And Oliver loves Ritz Bits. So I always get this 12 pack of little snack things and he'll kill a whole bag in five seconds. He loves those things. Um, I also picked up some lunch meat. We're gonna do sandwiches at one point this week, probably for dinner and also lunches. So I like to get the mesquite smoked turkey breast. Picked up some tomatoes for sandwiches, avocado for salad sandwiches and avocado toast. I just cut them in half and use it for a bunch of different stuff. I picked up some corn on the cob to go with our grilled chicken and I'm gonna make a pasta salad that night probably and do like basil, cherry tomatoes, pesto, bow tie noodles and mozzarella pearls. So that'll be really good. I picked up barbecue sauce and Italian dressing because that's the mixture I'm gonna use to marinate our chicken when we grill out. Got some barbecue chips to have with our sandwiches. Stocked up on my iced coffee. I have one of these in the fridge and I needed one more. I hate running out of that stuff. It's my favorite. And then this is the best creamer ever. I haven't gone to any other creamer in like a year. The Italian sweet cream is so good. And I picked up some pork and beans for our bean casserole and some tomato soup for that too. Got a gallon of milk. I feel like this is really zoomed in. I don't, I don't know why because it's zoomed out, but. Um, got some pecans for my salad, some paper towels, necessities. Got a watermelon for the night we grill out. Oliver will love that. Got some edamame for my salad. I used to be able to find the edamame that was already like peeled or whatever, um, but I can't find it lately, so I'm gonna have to peel that myself. Got some bacon. I got a huge thing of chicken breast, but it was leaking, so I've kept it in the bag. Some ground beef for bean casserole night. And I got some new detergent. This is, well not new detergent, I just got a refill. This is the one we get every time. It's just the Gain powder detergent. And we love it, it smells so good, it works so good. And I just love powder detergent so much. Nobody tell me it's bad for my washer because I'm still gonna buy it. I also had to pick up a new spin mop head because y'all know last week we cleaned out the garage and I used the other one in the garage. By the way, one spin mop head at Walmart is $10 and I think that's a little ridiculous. So I'm gonna have to find some sort of deal on Amazon next time. I got some Diet Cokes, I got some bow tie noodles for our pasta salad, and then these are for our bean casserole, some bananas, Oliver is a huge banana fan, and I like to have like peanut butter banana toast sometimes for breakfast. Picked up some sourdough bread that we already broke into, I thought that would be fun for sandwiches and it would switch things up a little bit. Got some strawberries, blueberries, some romaine for my salad, 18 count of eggs, some onions for different recipes. These are the mozzarella pearls that I'm gonna stick in our pasta salad. These are addictive, I could eat this whole thing. And I also got Oliver some string cheese. We haven't had that in a while. Got some cheddar cheese for different recipes. And some goat cheese. This is my favorite thing of all. I love this plain goat cheese. It's like crumbled for you so you don't have to crumble it. And I stick this on my avocado toast, on my salad, on my sandwiches. It is delicious. It's so creamy and so good. So that's what we picked up from Walmart this week. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this away and then I've gotta clean this kitchen. I never understood a word they said Kept running in the woods alone instead Somewhere Yes, I lost it all Try to keep it up and standing tall Why don't you stay, stay Cause I could really use a friend Stay, please stay Cause my heart really needs a man Somewhere, somehow I guess I lost it all Stay, stay here with me 
got all the groceries put away and now I'm just wiping down all of the counters and I had a big load of dishes to put in the dishwasher because I had some left over from the night before, some from this morning's breakfast, and then some from lunch. So lots of dishes to do. We're going to put all of those away, get this counter over here wiped down, and then we're going to start in on these floors. And I was excited because I got a new broom for the kitchen. I used our other broom in the garage last week and ruined it. So I got a new one and the only store close to us really is Dollar General. So I just ran to Dollar General and I picked up a Mr. Clean broom and it is the most high quality broom I've ever had. It's very heavy duty and it works so well. So I was excited to use that and get under all of these appliances and just give these kitchen floors a really good deep clean. And then once we get done with the kitchen, we'll head outside. Our backyard was trashed. It was full of toys and sidewalk chalk. And it just needed a really good spray down and kind of just like a fix me up situation. So let's get this kitchen taken care of and then we'll head outside. Why don't you stay home? Stay cause I could really use a friend Why don't you stay? Please stay cause my heart really needs a man Somewhere, somehow I guess I lost it all Stay, stay here with me Why don't you stay? Well stay cause I could really So what do y'all have planned for this summer? I would love to hear what y'all are doing down in the comments below, especially if you have kids or especially small kids, toddlers. I am looking for fun stuff for us to do. We want to go to the beach, but we also want to find like really fun stuff to do locally. We're going to be looking for all of the splash pads, all of the farmers markets, things like that. Um, we have a local, or not a local, but like a state park called Petagene Park. And it has a um, really big waterfall and like some hiking trails. We would love to do that this summer. And there's lots of like fun stuff to do in Arkansas, but we just have to kind of explore and figure out what there is. But I would love to know what y'all are taking your kids to do this summer. Are you taking your kids to any fun theme parks or any fun activities? Especially if you have little kids. Let us know down in the comments below. I mean, let us know even if you have big kids because I like to know what everybody's doing. But if you have toddlers, I would love to know what y'all are doing with your kids because I need some ideas. Yeah, I want you back, back, want you back, back, back. Some say that love don't hurt, but I've got you stuck in my memory. Some say that hearts come first, but they've never known what it's like to be. In love at 20 years old, we kiss in the rain till we catch a cold. Some say that love don't hurt, but I want you back, back, cause I've got you stuck in my memory. Now I'm moving back into the living room. This is the following day from when we steam cleaned and so I'm just gonna vacuum up this rug and it was so fluffy, it felt so clean, so that was a really good feeling. And we're gonna put that back and then we're also gonna vacuum up the rest of these floors and mop in here before we head outside. Oh, 
Now that the inside was tackled, I'm headed out to the back porch and we're going to clean up all of these toys. I had sidewalk chalk that I needed to spray off because it had been on there for days. We've had, we haven't had rain in a while, so I needed to get that taken care of. So many toys, so much grilling stuff that needed to be put away. So we're going to take care of that. Y'all know last week we cleaned out the garage and I had a place for all of Will's grilling stuff. So I put that in the garage and I'm just going to wipe down our outdoor furniture over in that pea gravel area where we have our fire pit and all of that, I needed to get rid of some weeds. I had pulled some weeds because we actually made this pea gravel area in the fall, so we have yet to experience it in the spring yet. And we have gotten a few weeds popping up, even though we put down that liner. So I was pulling those weeds, got those taken care of. We needed to sweep our back porch and kind of just spray everything down, freshen everything up. I do want to come back out here in a couple weeks and plant some flowers and do a couple more things. But for now, we got it sprayed down, we got it kind of cleaned up, and we freshened up the pool area and all of Oliver's toys so that it's a little bit more fun to be out here and play out here for him. So anyways, that was, that's what we're taking care of right now, getting everything straightened up back in the backyard. Shortly after hosing off the porch here, I went to Walmart. I went back to Walmart because I wanted to find a pool cover for our little kitty pool. I have to dump that out every day and refill it because it's so gross. And I would love to find something that would cover it so we don't get bugs and all of that. Um, so I did go do that. We went to Pokey Hula. I picked up a Pokey Bowl for dinner and then I got Oliver some McDonald's. But I didn't end up finding a really great pool cover so we skipped that. I either need to get a pool net or something to help keep our pool a little bit fresh for longer because I have to dump this every day and it's such a pain because then it's freezing cold and we have to warm it up. And so I would love something that just kind of helped us regulate that kitty pool. But anyways, I'm going to share with you what we picked up for dinner. Okay, we just got home from Walmart and McDonald's and Poke Hula, and I'm about to eat this Poke Bowl real quick. I seriously am obsessed with these, y'all. It has white rice with some spicy salmon and avocado and a mame. I think these are fish eggs and then some sesame seeds. Um, avocado, I don't know if I already said that, but it is so good. So I'm gonna devour this, and then we're gonna finish cleaning up the backyard. Name to hear the 
sound never release me It's kept in a box marked lost and found One of these days I, I think I'm gonna turn it upside down That's how it goes When you're only for another smell That's all I get Just the sweetest thing I've ever had We finished dinner and now I'm back in the backyard kind of cleaning things up. I'm picking up these weeds that I pulled the other day and I never put them in the trash can. So we're taking care of that. I added a couple of little touches for Memorial Day and 4th of July. Some cute little pillows but kept it really simple. And now we're headed over to Oliver's little pool and we're going to clean it out. It was already empty because Will emptied it for us but it was so dirty. So I'm going to get in here with some Dawn dish soap and scrub it out and get it filled up because the following day it was supposed to be really nice and I wanted the pool to be really nice and warm and full and ready to go. So it was such a beautiful night as you can see by the sky. So we were having the best time out here getting this all done and we're going to take care of this pool and call it a day. After this we were all done and then the next day Oliver and I woke up, we put on our swimsuits and we came out here and we spent practically the whole day in the backyard and it was so nice to have a clean space to just hang out and play and relax. So this was totally worth it. I just took some Dawn dish soap, scrubbed out this pool. We're gonna fill it up and then we'll be done. Maybe I'm all wrong, but maybe that's all I That's bad, that's all I get Just the sweetest thing I never had I can't regret Even though I may be sad That is going to be it for today's video. I hope it gave you lots of motivation to get something done around your house or in your yard. And thank y'all so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. But I will see y'all in a few days. Bye!